Welcome back to week 35 of the Iron Man Road to Completionist Cape series, starting this week with a construction level. Uh, I finally managed to use up all of my special teak planks, uh, so I decided to start working on construction, just to get a lot of XP. Went to the movies today with my girlfriend and uh, watched the new Wonder Woman movie, um, which means I haven't been able to get that many gains uh, outside of uploading this morning. Yeah, so I'm just doing something that's a very fast skill, and hopefully I'll be able to knock out a few million XP in it today. And I just couldn't wait for the next cache. Had to get this level because, I mean, finally, I'm going to gain access to incandescent energy. That means time saved any time I need divine charges. Uh... It's a pretty significant level for Divination, 95. Um, and I'm going to go uh, tune my portal in the Max Guild directly to that colony uh, so that I'll, I'll always have access to pick up more Divine Charge uh, whenever I need. I thought since I uh, finally could collect Incandescent Energy, I should finally come and complete my first Prestige here. So, um, yeah, there's that. It's a uh, comp requirement taken down. Well, I'm sending out my first trio mission here. Um, it's an 89% success rate, which is actually pretty close to 100. Um, and if I get that, then I only think I have uh, one more comp requirement from ports, and that's getting all the pieces to the Reefwalker cape. Um, shouldn't take too long, especially seeing as I have uh, quite a few weeks left to go. Should be zero problem to take care of that or I've already done it and I completely forgot. So yeah, hopefully that thing passes and that'll be my last comp requirement from ports. And on to day 240. Let's see if it passed. I'm pretty sure it's this ship. There we go. There is the last ports completionist requirement taken care of. If I can just uh, spacebar through the text. I should get a pop-up, right? Maybe? Or maybe not. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the previous clip that while doing an hour of Firewatch last night, I picked up 91 farming, uh, so it's time to start doing Fellstock for quite a bit more XP. And much later tonight, I picked up 101 Dungeoneering. Um, that's like a lot of what I've been working on today, aside from, uh, you know, this and that, here and there, I thought I should go ahead and start doing a lot of Dungeoneering because it's going to give XP and all the rest of my skills. Uh, so instead of spending time grinding out something like Strength or Agility, Smithing or herb Herblore, uh, I'm just going to do some of this, you know, all of these skill doors and stuff, going all the way to 120 Dungeoneering is going to supply quite a bit of uh, overall total XP. Um, so, as of right now, I haven't updated my overlay, but I'm sitting at uh, 377 million XP. And, um, yeah, just gonna keep doing this uh, tomorrow, and maybe even the next day. Or I may even just grind out until I hit 120. Who knows? Did some dungeoneering to start today off, and uh, now I'm doing a farm run, a tree run specifically. Ran into a Purit PPC down in uh, Lumbridge at the tree spot. Yeah, pretty cool. Thought I would uh, continue working on the Dungeoneering task set, so I came and did the Vengeance uh, Saga. So that was 100%, so I did the abridged version and the unabridged to go into agility. Sure, 26k agility is not bad. Time to knock out the last two. And there's fuck it to him. So let's go ahead and read the abridged. 37k DG, not bad. And then strength, of course strength, 75k strength XP. And there's the final saga. Uh, what is it, thock your block off? Yeah. And that's completed um, two things, actually. One of them's for the elite DG task, and I guess the other one's for comp, or maybe a master quest cape. Something like that. There's 53k DG, and yeah, this is going into strength. 105,000. Not bad at all. 
uh, especially not for something that only takes like 20 minutes. So now that I have a Nox Staff and I still have the Sun Spear that I can always use, I'm going to go ahead and destroy my Chaotic Staff to get back uh, half of the tokens. And so I finally completed something, let's see, about the task system. There's the Easy Aura, and um, let's see, uh, I need to, I guess, talk to all four of these guys to get the four different parts, because I completed the Elite tasks. Uh, actually, all four sets. <laughs> completed them all uh, between yesterday and today. Um, I think Thok might be the last one. Yeah, he's the elite guy. But I have to finish the hard one first. Alright, about the task system. There's another lamp. And then I think Thok is going to hand me four. Let's see, about the task system. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So there's the Damonheim Aura 4, uh, which has all kinds of bonuses. And um, hey, lots of XP to go into Herblore. And here's 20k. Then 50k. 50k. Uh, that first 50k was level 98. There's another 50,000. And another 60,000. Not too bad uh, for extra XP to come alongside my Dungeoneering. Been spending some time in the Ark, getting quite close to, um, I think, finally finishing up the comp requirements there uh, with the last three things I need to buy from the shop. Just have some more bundles of bamboo to make, like another 70. Just gonna farm that out on Waco. Uh, but with this, I'm picking up 95 agility. I'm staying on top of my Heffen hours, you know, getting my XP over here and doing my caches twice a day. Already done that twice today, I believe, and it's uh, only been three hours since the reset, so not bad. And, uh, yeah, it's all I've been working on. Also thinking about going to finally take care of Combat Academy to get the two to 300,000 XP into Herbalore, and then I can go buy uh, some broad arrowheads, and I'm getting really close to that 99 fletching. All right, well, I think it's finally gonna happen. Need the Arc Journal Teletabs, the Crystal Tool Siphon Blueprint, and the Supplies Cap Increase. Hope those were the right three. Yep, there, completed three different things down here. Now let's go into the Achievements tab just to make sure the uh, wonky little interface finally popped up there. Scroll all the way down, and um, yeah, I don't see any references don't see any references at all. Uh, <laughs> oi. Um, to to uh, the arc. So, think that means I'm done. Well, to end off today, I thought I would actually do Combat Academy. So I did all of the training, all the basic stuff that uh, help people learn RS and the combat system. That's 9.5k Herblore uh, per book. So let's see, that's um, four books, then there's another four rows here, it makes it 21 total, uh, times 9508. Um, if you do it at a really early level, uh, it doesn't give nearly as much XP because these reward books do scale uh, based on the level of your skill. So um, yeah, I waited until 98, you know, help clean up the rest of the XP I need for the 99. Um, which isn't quite here yet, but uh, it will be here sooner than I expect. So, two more of these books to go, and there we are. Bam. Uh, so that knocked out uh, just over 200,000. I was sitting a little over a million to go, and uh, now I'm down to 816k to 99. Starting off today with some Vire Watch, and just picked up 96 attack. That's three levels left to go. I'm um, doing split XP again between attack and strength, because why not? Second clip for today, uh, maybe third, uh, but there's a Dungeoneering level, uh, 102. On to uh, more DG, about to do a uh, reset actually, two more floors. And ending off tonight with a little bit of fletching. Uh, I think I bought broad arrows for the last day because 
It's exactly 100k. Okay, not exactly 100k. 100,283. And on to the next day. Uh, just been doing some fletching and some reading for my classes. And, um, well, I'm finally gonna get the level. Is it coming? There we go. Awesome. There's, uh, 99 fletching. Took quite a while to take care of. Um, but hey, now I can finally move my miscellanea onto something else. Um, I'll probably get some mahogany planks, just because I have way more than enough gold uh, to afford, um, you know, construction through my teak planks. Um, so I may as well get some uh, faster XP rates through mahoganies, uh, since I have the ability to. But, um, yeah, let's go pick up that cape. This is actually one of the few capes that I had no idea uh, where it came from. Um, so, yes please, and there it is. Pick up the fletching cape. And, uh, nice. Also looks quite nice, and is one of the uh, few 99s I thought I might be able to get whenever I was uh, really young. <laughs> Um, but, uh, as I just mentioned to somebody else, uh, they asked if I was going to be saving any skills so I could, like, max and comp at the same time, you know, get the double broadcast. And, um, though I don't plan on it, that may end up being the case. Uh, 120 Dungeoneering is going to be one of my hardest comp requirements, so I've started to work on Dungeoneering, uh, trying to grind it out, as you guys have noticed. Um, so if I end up at 120 DG and uh, have all the rest of my comp requirements done, and then I have a skill at like 98, I might just do that. And max and comp all at the same time, like within, you know, a few minutes of each other. Um, we'll see what happens. And there's a 96 divination. Just picked it up from my first cache of today. Actually, it's my third cache of today, but it's my first cache after the reset. And doing my uh, weekly Tears of Guthics right after the weekly reset for 92 farming. I also just did a construction daily challenge so that uh, the XP would just be slightly over farming. Doing my second hours of virus for the day, there's a uh, 93 strength. And I'm about to pick up an invention level uh, whenever this bandage chestplate hits 12. And this is going to be a 107 invention which is the last unlock you get, I think, uh, being the alchemical onyx. So, doing some divination because I needed to read books AFK, this will get me some divine charge, and catching, catching a uh, Guthix butterfly, because that's what my um, Ingram is attuned to, happened to get me 92 construction. Well, today was just one of those days where I wasn't able to get that much time in. I uh, had to do some reading for a class, do homework for it, and then between going to the gym and going out to eat with my girlfriend, I was just out of time for today. Uh, but that's probably because I slept in until, like, noon. Uh, e either way, um, I was able to do uh, two, three half an hours today? Two or three, something like that. And um, you can see I'm making progress on that agility level on my way to 96. And then I uh, disassembled all of the maple short bows I made um, while finishing up 99 fletching. Uh, and I disassembled like almost 3,000 gold bars so far just to get some more simple parts. I was surprised I was almost out of them. Um, but the dexterous components from the short bows are going to be able to make me... Yeah, a lot of siphons. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use entirely siphons on my way um, to 120 invention, but I mean, I think that's enough to actually get me all the way there. Uh, you use 5 per siphon, that is 47 siphons, then I have some in the bank, and I only need 29.6 mil. Um, yeah, so I, I think I have invention uh, pretty much banked for 120. Uh, outside of that, though, plan on doing some more virus tomorrow, and um, my daily challenge for today is delve into Damonheim. Uh, of course, I already extended it, and I'm going to take care of that tomorrow. And for that entire last clip, I didn't realize I hadn't changed my overlay for today, so I'm actually close to 390 mil XP now, still 2648, and um, it's day 244, with the to correspond to the last clip, and tomorrow's the last day of the week, day 245. I think, yeah. And on to day 245, just barely missed it, um, but 
you know, it's the last day of this week. Did some Dungeoneering, just got 103 and access to floor 52. Um, yeah, just slowly creeping my way up. Um, so I'm just under 85 mil to go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of painful. Um, yeah, I... Really not looking forward to the rest of this grind, but at least I've got like a few hundred thousand tokens by now. I think about a uh, two to three hundred k earned today. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna keep working on this DG grind, um, but it's quite late, so I'm gonna call it quits here, uh, at least for the recording. Um, so that'll be the end of this week, uh, week number thirty-five. Yeah, that's right. Week number 35. <laughs> uh, taking care of. Hoping to comp by like week 40, uh, but we'll see what happens on uh, that front. And it's really not a proper clip for me if I didn't mess up somewhere. So, again, I forgot to change the overlay for what was going to be the last clip of this video. Uh, but anyway, 392 million XP is the count right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.